Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing against Beth Harmon from the Queen's Gambit Netflix series. I mean, it's a computer uh, chess.com has created with different rating levels. For example, Beth at 8, age and rating around 800, then going for 9, around 1200 to 10, around 1600. I'll be playing this one, the 1880, because currently my rating on chess.com is 1750. So I'll be challenging the 15-year-old Beth Harmon right now. And let's see if I can uh, play and defeat her. Yes, of course, the next level is much stronger, which is 2400. It's close to International Master. And I saw one of the videos by Eric Rosen, uh, who is an International Master, playing against Beth Harmon. And, she, and he actually won that game. Uh, very tough game for him as well, because engine levels are different as compared to humans. Uh, if it's a human or around 24 rating player, 100 rated player, I could probably challenge as well because uh, I had a match with Jonathan Strons who was around 2300 and I defeated him uh, on his live stream. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll place the link in the description below so that you can check that out as well. And so yeah, today I'll be playing against uh, Beth Harmon at age 15, which she was around 1880 as per the Netflix series of course. Uh, it's a chess.com computer bot, which they have created at 1880 level. So yeah, let's begin with the game. Uh, and I'll be playing, okay, no help of any kind, so that there's no take backs, and I'll play the, as white against Beth Harmon. So let's begin this interesting game, and I hope uh, I can present a good challenge. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do, and press on the bell button as well, so that you are keep. Uh, you are being notified on every video that I post on a daily basis. So yeah, I'll play the London system setup, the ideas of uh, playing pawn to uh, d4 and then getting the bishop out, uh, getting on f4, knight on f3, pawn to c3, uh, playing even e3 and then getting your light square bishop out, connecting both the knights by placing the other on d2, get the queen on c2 and attack towards the long diagonal, placing some pawn forward as well. Uh, open displaying the Indians game. Uh, so yeah, computer's choice is nice. Probably she'll try to next play pawn g6 and fear and care of the bishop on g2. So yeah, let's continue with our plan. I'll play bishop on f4. Yes, pawn comes ahead on g6. Uh, here are there are a couple of options. Uh, I'll just develop the knight maybe for now and see what she does. And she fear and care of the bishop which is always nice. Uh, I can play pawn to uh, e3, just trying to play solid, not going for the big center, which I could by playing even c4. Okay, now she has responded with d6. Uh, what options do I have? Uh, so probably she'll try to keep her bishop here, trying to pin the knight. Uh, and I'm okay with that actually. So I can play pawn forward as well. So I'll play c3 instead. Let's see, and she castles, okay. And what else um, can be part of the plan? I think I should just go ahead with the pawn straight away or maybe try to pin the pawn there by placing my bishop, that can be one option. Um, yeah, let's go with the bishop. I'll just try to pin the pawn um, and then maybe go with queen later on here. Okay, so she now develops the bishop, at making sure that I cannot get my queen on d6. Uh, which means I can go ahead with pawn maybe. Yeah, h h3 looks nice to me. I can play uh, g4, uh, g4 as well next, if allowed, of course. And here she responds with b5, attacking the bishop, which is a weak pawn. And I am wondering why should I not take it? So I'll take it. It's a free pawn. Why will I deny a free pawn against the engine? And now she plays a pawn forward, so which means I can get my bishop backwards, can even exchange, or I can continue with my plan as well. Um, this bishop is annoying, but I can play pawn forward and push it backwards and spoil the pawn structure as well. Um, yeah, that makes more sense. So I'll get my bishop backwards here. The idea is to attack the bishop next. So she develops the knight. Now, I think I can go ahead with g4 straight away. Uh, I don't see any challenges. Yes, she can come here, but it's not doing much. So I'll push the pawn forward. And he gives the bishop. That's interesting choice by the engine. So 
if I take uh, and she takes back, I take this pawn. She opens up the file as well. Or maybe I can take the bishop first, uh, spoil the castling, and then take on the bishop with my pawn. So like get a pawn as well. Because if her knight comes here, that can be problematic later on as well. So yeah, let's take on this. And she takes back with the rook. And now I take the bishop and she takes back with the pawn. Oh, she doesn't. That's interesting. Maybe because it's a not 2400 level. But I think I, I should take up another pawn if I'm getting it. Why not? And she takes back this time. Now it is simple. I have to push my pawns forward. But should I be developing my pieces first or just go on with my pawn? Uh, going on with the pawn should not be a bad option, but um, okay, yeah, let's go ahead with it. Okay, she gets the queen active on c6 now, attacking the knight, but it's defended with my uh, queen, so not an issue. Um, what can I do? Is there a threat or I can just push my pawn forward? But if I push it forward, she takes with the knight. And then I have to sacrifice my rook. I don't need to sacrifice when I'm doing good in the game already. Okay, so I'll just safeguard my rook for now, attacking the pawn as well. That's a free pawn that I see. So that can be a target. And now she plays knight to c4. Now I'm wondering, she's just attacking a pawn here. Can I play it forward? How is pawn forward? I don't think it's a bad option. Uh, let's do it. Attack the knight. Defend the pawn. Oh, she comes inside, which means I can trap the knight because knight is not going anywhere. Just attacking my queen. So if I just can save my, my queen, where's the knight going? Nowhere. But the problem is if I take hers, she would take mine as well. Mm, that's interesting. Um, should I take? Should I not? I think I can take here. Or I can wait as well and attack his queen maybe. Is there a move that she can defend with? Yeah, she can get back and then I take. And then she spoils my castling rights on the queen side too. So rather I should take and after she takes, I can attack with the knight and develop with tempo and that that sounds good so i'll take here and she takes back and as i said i'll just develop the knight with tempo attacking the queen preparing to castle as well and she now goes back to c5 what can we do uh, should i castle right now or i should just take on the pawn first i can actually take on the pawn and then castle so that next move i get my rook active as well and pressurize further on this bishop. Uh, and then maybe push pawns forward if required or just remove this knight from here somehow. Uh, but casting also makes sense, just trying to put my king to safety first. So I'll put my king to safety first. Okay, she attacks my bishop straight away. But if she takes, of course I can take back. That spoils my pawn structure though. Um, should I allow her to take? Should I just move my bishop? Maybe bring it back to h2 can also be uh, possible here. What is the move? Oh, she's attacking the pawn as well with the knight. Okay, that's vicious because now she has got double attackers here. So I should be saving this pawn. And what is the option? Uh, can I get something else? Maybe king up. King up helps. King up king up and then then where she does she go thankfully it's not a time game otherwise uh, it was already over playing against the engine you cannot play on time uh i think i can play pawn forward as well here looks a bit bad because i cannot take the knight of course because of the pin but then i can remove my pin later on and then attack so i think i should save my pawn by playing it forward Let's go ahead with this. Okay, so she, I did that and she took on the bishop. I have to take another option and she takes back with the rook mostly. 
Oh, she doesn't. And defends the spawn rather. That's a nice way of defense. That is seriously a nice way of defense. But then what we can do is um, maybe read out my knight. That can be nice. That can be a good move. Let's go with the knight, trying to have a fork eventually. Oh, she takes on the pawn now. So it was not going to be a fork on the knight, on the rook. But yes, that's a good position for knight, but she attacks with the bishop as well. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go in the center. Engines are strong. She takes on and I have to take back, of course. No other option there. And then she goes on h7, trying to defend the pawn twice now um, with the king as well. So huh, what do we do here? Can I take this pawn? Free pawn. Looks like a free pawn. I can take this. I can take it, right? There's no threats. Um, yes, she can take this pawn. Or I can't take this one because it's guarded. So I think I should take this. Fine, I'll take. Let's see what she does. Oh, that's a tricky move too. Trying to just make sure that I have to move my queen away because if she takes with the rook, that's a check. And I have to move my king because I can't take. Otherwise, I lose my queen. Uh, that's a nice move. And what do I do about it? Yeah, so just sidestep from the harm's way and then also constantly focus on the g6, which is weakening up of Haman. Okay, that's a strange move. What is she trying to achieve from there? Hmm, let's figure out. I've got ample of amount of time. She cannot take. She can't take this as well, but maybe play pawn forward and get my rook backwards is her plan but i think i can go ahead with the pawn here the idea is to just make sure that he, she cannot move the pawn and i can take if required so okay now she's offering me rook exchange now can i take the pawn first if i take on the pawn and that's a check so she has to defend now she can take with the rook if she wants but she doesn't instead uh, if she would have taken with the rook, I can take back with the rook and we exchange stuff. And then I have extra pawns so I can win it from there. I'm plus three. Um, but she rather defends and doesn't take, which means I can take an exchange at least. Um, should not be a bad option. Can I, can I do something else? Can I just move my rook away? Uh, is that possible? Uh, but I don't accomplish anything from moving my rook away. Uh, she gets to have a pawn as well. So I'll take on the rook here. And she takes back with the queen. So I am now three pawns ahead. And I should try to take this further into a deep end game and win it from there. Um, can I double up? Doubling up is one option. Doubling up is one option and then I go down, take on one of the pawns and try to win it from there. Yes, and I'm just making sure that there is just one check coming. Yep, expected that to happen. Can go up on a couple of squares or can exchange queens as well. Shall I exchange queens? End game. Oh, but then she takes on the pawn. And if I go up on C2, she takes on G6 with a check. So I should go on, um, I should go on B2 here, I think. Yeah, let's go on B2. Okay, she gets the rook active. Oh, trying to take on the pawn next. Huh, she's not stopping. How do I stop her? Play pawn forward. I can play two steps as well. And that saves. And that saves. I'll go with the pawn ahead. Okay, she takes on the pawn eventually. So I'm just now two pawns ahead. 
and I should continue with my plan maybe, uh, which was just to get my rook active and then take one of these pawns out of the game. So I think she has to defend this because otherwise it's, it's a check. So gets the rook active and I take this pawn first. Maybe another can come down very soon. Okay, so now she's fighting for the other pawn here, trying to go for the kill. How, what do I do? Hmm. Can I get my queen there? Does it help? She takes a pawn and I can't do anything about it. So is there a way to defend this pawn? I doubt. Um, what, what should we do here? Any, 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 any suggestions? I wish it was a live stream and I could have taken I need something out of it, but huh, what do we do about it? It's a tough situation. Rook, I cannot lose. Um, if I play pawn forward, she takes with the queen. Can I play this pawn forward? Maybe trying to just make sure that I can take it some point of time. Um, can I? I can't even give a check. That's not possible right now. I should go ahead with the pawn then. Because this can be promoted someday. Okay, so she takes the pawn and exchanges the queens. Now I think that's in my favor only. She should, could have taken with the rook instead. I'll take here. I allowed this. I, you don't want your queen anymore. Even you didn't. So stop blaming me and let's play. Okay, so she loses another pawn there and this should be comfortable end game from here because I've got extra pawns and I should not lose from here. I can just simply go behind this pawn and take it. Yeah, there are a lot of pawns I have and I should just take another. She takes this with the rook and then I proceed with the pawn maybe. Uh, if she gets her rook ahead, that's also fine because then I can start pushing my pawns. Oh, she goes down instead. Um, shall I push it further? Uh, but I will require some support. Um, uh, I think this should be fine. Pawn forward, she gets here, I defend, she comes with the king. I go with, sorry, can't move two steps. Okay, this would be the procedure. Let's draw it and analyze. It's an end game, we can calculate. Comes down, I defend, and then she moves this, I move this, she moves this, I move this, and I lose the pawn. So I should not play c7. So I should play b4. The idea is to just defend the pawn first as soon as she comes closer to it. Um, I think I can play pawn forward again, which defends uh, the pawn further. Okay, she comes closer. Um, can go with the king first and then maybe I can play um, pawn forward defending this pawn as well. Yes, she comes down and now I've got a4 defending the pawns. Now she's attacking the pawn. Uh, can I move the rook? Rook down and then can I do something about it? Go here. Uh, that would be a pawn chain. Let's wait actually because it's her move. So I play a waiting move here, trying to just get my king more active. She comes up. Um, I cannot go around the clock, otherwise she comes down and can be troublesome as well. Um, that's annoying. I think I should go down and try something from there. 
okay this doesn't work of course and i cannot play pawn forward so only couple of pieces i can move is my rook or my king if i move my king then what's the trouble um king can go a walk around but cannot come down because of the rook controlling the file so let's go with the rook had enough okay so she's trying to give me a check maybe next by getting the rook active on e mm, how is rook on d file how is rook on d file um doesn't look bad to me because if she comes down i can exchange rooks and i have lots of pawns to win so let's get rook active and she goes back to the a pawn now which means i can go back to b3 as well defending the pawn I should be going to b3 or I can let this pawn go now let's defend the pawn and she goes back annoying huh. how do I close this how's rook here exchanging the rooks well that's a nice idea she takes I take she but she doesn't take hmm can I play it forward now? I can play it forward now. She can't take. And after that, what's the follow-up? If she moves the king, then also I'm fine, I think, because some point of time she will have to take it. So I'll move the pawn ahead. Yeah. Now she cannot simply take with the rook if she does i'll take back she takes and i've got two pawns to win the end game which should be comfortable at the end oh, should be let's go ahead with the king then um if i go to c4 that can be troublesome or it can't be she can come here i go up she takes i go up she goes up i proceed further uh, that should look fine to me or i can even play king to b4 if i play king b4 uh, what options does she have she has to move the king so she will go down and then i can proceed with the pawns b4 looks more solid yep she goes down and i can push pawns forward some point she has to take oh she doesn't what is she trying to do from there maybe give a check but nothing more first of all i'll give a check okay she comes up instead i expected her to go down um I can't promote. Can I get a queen here? And, and then if she takes, that's a mate, I think. Yep, that's a mate. No, uh, yeah, that's a mate. That should be mate if she takes. Yeah, I think that's over. This check doesn't scare me. Uh, this one would. Am I going for the mate? What? You are not going for the mate. I am. Okay. Give the check. I have this defense. Otherwise I can go here. And then defend. Yeah, let's go down. Check should not bother me now. 
I defend takes she takes this or oh, doesn't I think she wants two queens on the board is this stalemate oh that's a stalemate nicely observed thankfully I would have been in great depression otherwise I'll give a check now I can promote she has a square to go to second queens on the board and push pawn forward and again how many queens we should defeat Beth Harmon with check that should be made she's not going anywhere after that because the last rank is completely covered this is covered with the king the square is also covered with the king so yeah that's checkmate um i wanted one more queen so i'll promote and give checkmate but then she comes here okay okay but let's promote at least check three queens checkmate always nice phew so 1880 beth harman gets defeated one mistake zero blunders always nice um we'll check the game report as well um okay still loading depth 17 Oh, that's a nice accuracy 94.4 and yeah because the Indian was a bit weak so some mistakes what I had was I was very comfortable actually throughout except from a couple of points there but yeah in between I blundered something what was that when she played the pawn I went with knight that was bad what should I have done I should have got my queen on c2 instead okay that was one point where I blundered, but once we went ahead and I took on the pawn, that was nice move as computer suggested. This was again the best move going forward, taking on and then taking the rook was also nice. Um, gives a check, I had to save. Yes, the right move there. As I said, when playing also that few things my opponent can do there, took on the pawn proceeded with the other exchange the queens of the board and i had extra pawns so that was always going to be comfortable but yeah in the end also she was trying for a good stalemate which would have left me in a big a lot more trauma so had i promoted my queen here and that could have been a disaster because uh oh actually she can take on the pawn I was thinking it's a stalemate. It wasn't a stalemate. Okay. I just for a moment thought that she can't take we stalemate. But yeah, eventually we got three queens on the board and checkmated Beth Harmon at age 15 though. Yeah, but 1800 uh, is a good level of uh, computer engine to be defeated. I'll try 2400 next time and do check that out as well. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.